Yo yo, welcome back to another video on the Porterpack H2 Hacker F1 and today we will be going over the level portion of the unit. So we're going to go over here to receive, go down to level and right off the bat we're on level. I'm going to turn my audio off for now. So level is similar to the audio uh, portion that we looked at looked over a few weeks ago. Let's crank this in a little bit. All right, up top, off the bat, you, you've got LNA, you got your VGA, you've got your amp, and you have your volume. If you have an internal speaker, that's for, for your volume at, or for headphones. Um, you have your bandwidth, and then you have your mode. Uh, you have uh, narrow FM, spectrum, AM, and so on. Then you have your audio on and off feature, right? Underneath that, you have your uh, your frequency that you can select and tune into then you have your adjustment area of what you can set uh, that that increments to so if, if I were to turn the knob it's adjusting in that 0.1 kilohertz range you can see that 1201 to 1200 right so to adjust that you would just crank this up if you want uh, you have your RSSI and then your BIP. Uh, I had to reach out to the guys on uh, discord to figure out what the BIP was and it turns out that the BIP is activating audio beep over a selected squelch. So pretty much you click on it and you can adjust this uh, squelch level here and then you can hear possibly a beep of sorts. Kind of simple there. And then you have your RX saturation down below. So if we were to tune into a frequency, right? Let's go over here. I'm gonna go one, four, seven, three, two, five, right? And then we're gonna hit done. So I have my Yesu right here, tuned to that same frequency. I'm gonna key this up, we're gonna tune this up. So as I hit my, P -P my PTT on my Yesu, we should see that our X saturation go higher. There it goes, 100%, and drop down. And 100%, and drop down. So. That's kind of tell you, telling you how close you are to that signal depending on that saturation, right? Uh, could be a useful item for fox hunting. Um, I know that there's a fox hunting app on here now on the Portapack. We will get into that later on, but um, this could also be a, another useful feature for that. Um, so if we want to hear a frequency, right? So we're going to go to the standard good old NOAA of 162.0. Four hundred and done. And then from there, we're gonna turn our audio on. All right. So now we are listening to Noah, and we see that our RX saturation has gone up a little bit. Um, it, every now and then it goes to the fifty percent, where you'll see that area turn green. That T, we we went over that a few videos ago on the audio portion. That's your tone. Um, so that's kind of just telling you pretty much your uh, frequency offset and input uh, type stuff. On your peak over here, uh, so this is your graph obviously, right? We're looking at a horizontal graph, not a vertical that you would get from uh, your audio spectrum portion. So that's kind of the difference here. It's more on a horizontal level of what you're looking at. But if we were to adjust this peak value, you can see that the frequency down there that level area is kind of dude, like getting really, really tight and tinier and tinier and then back to 16x, so it's wide. 32, 64, 128, and 240. So that's all that really does right there. Not a lot to it, um, but that is the level uh, app on the Hacker F1 Porter Pack H2. So we can go back and next week we'll be going over Puxag. Um, I have a pager arriving tomorrow, I believe. So today is Sunday. Um, tomorrow will be Monday. I should have my new pager where I've set up Puxag with a radio unit and my phone. So um, we'll, be dive we'll be diving into that. So that's all there is to it for today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do that fun stuff. It helps me out. And I will see you in the next video.